Why Governor Ambode is Nigeria's Governor General Eric Bzola. Why Governor Ambode is Nigeria's Governor General Eric Bzola Lagos State Governor, Mr. Akinwanmi Ambode, right, with his Osun State counterpart, Ogbeni Rof Eric Bzola, exchanging state plaque and souvenir during Governor Ambode's courtesy visit to Osun State Government House, Osagbo, on Thursday, July 20, 2017. Osun State Governor, Rolf Eric Bzola, on Thursday described his counterpart in Lagos State, Akinwan Miambode, as the Governor General of Nigeria, saying the position of Lagos as the economic nerve center of the country and the brilliant performance of the Governor in office could not be downplayed in any form. Speaking while receiving Governor Ambode on a courtesy visit at Government House in Okfi Asagbo, Mr. Eric Bzola said considering the fact that the economy of Lagos was about the summation of economies of 30 states in Nigeria, one would be denying the obvious not to recognize the vantage position of the state and its governor in the scheme of affairs in the country. I recognize the governor of Lagos state who by my own assessment is the governor general of Nigeria. I say so for a very good reason. It is not a question of age of the occupant of that office or his tenure. It is simply an attestation to the fact that the economy of Lagos is about the summation of the economies of 30 states in Nigeria. One will be deceiving himself not to recognize that fact, Habib Aruna, the chief press secretary to Governor Ambode quoted Mr. Eric Bzola as saying. While recalling similar visit to former governor of Osun State, Bisi Akand, by the then governor of Lagos State, Bola Ametinabu, Mr. Eric Bzola described Governor Ambode's visit as historic and apartment coming at a time when the state lost some illustrious indigenes and in the wake of democratic assault which he recently suffered, saying he had been greatly encouraged, motivated and given calm disposition by the visit. He particularly commended Governor Ambode for his clear expression of commitment to economic integration and development of Southwest, saying beyond rhetorics, concrete steps must now be taken to actualize the vision and the overall interest and benefit of the people. He said it would be disastrous for any state in the region to assume it can make any meaningful progress without integration adding that it is in the interest of all the six states in the region to work together. The only state with the clout and the muzzle to shun collaboration and integration superficially is Lagos and that too will be to its eternal regret because if the adjoining states to Lagos are underdeveloped, the consequence on Lagos is tragic. If it requires trekking from any part of the region to get to Lagos, people will do it and Lagos will have a huge number of internally displaced people who you cannot send away because they speak the same language with you anyway. Even going national, there is no tribe or section of the country that is not properly represented in Lagos. So, if people come from as far north as Bayou to Lagos, what more of I call? Iptomodu and Erjidi. People will move and Lagos will have unending challenge of at least catering for their municipal needs. So, it is in the interest of Lagos as it is in the interest of other states to pursue with vigor this clamor for effective integration of not only our economy, but our political, social, commercial and educational relationship, among others. Mr. Eric Bzola said. Lagos State Governor, Mr. Akinwan Miambode, right, with his Osun State counterpart, Ogbeni Rof Eric Bzola, exchanging state plaque and souvenir during Governor Ambode's courtesy visit to Osun State Government House, Asagbo, on Thursday, July 20, 2017. 
He added that it was only through integration that the region could take maximum advantage of its comparative competitiveness. Earlier, Governor Ambode said the visit was basically to show solidarity and reflect and expand the brotherhood that the Southwest region was striving to achieve especially by ensuring the success of the integration of the Yoruba nation. I am here to say that I want to further the economic partnership that should exist between the state of Osun and Lagos state. Yes, we have lake rice. Yes we have a partnership with Kebi State but the economic integration and food security of the Southwest remains in the vineyard of Osun and other states that surround Lagos. Obviously, we have the consumer strength of the market, we have the commerce but we must integrate backward towards the Southwest and ensure that the economic prowess of the regional integration that we set out to achieve is put in place for generations yet unborn. Lagos State Governor, Mr. Akinwan Miambode, Middle, with his Osun and Oyo State counterparts, Ogbeni Rof Eric Bzola, Left, and Senator Abiola Jamabi, Right, during Governor Ambode's visit to Osun State, on Thursday, July 20, 2017. RL, Lagos State Governor. Mr. Akinwan Miambode with his Osun state counterpart, Governor Rolf Eric Bzola and Senator Alusola Di during Governor Ambode's courtesy visit to Osun state government house, Osagbo, on Thursday, July 20, 2017. We have a historic duty and which Governor Eric Bzola has continued to champion that we must stand up for the regional integration of the Southwest because therein lies the future prosperity of the Yoruba nation. I commit myself to that vision. I also commit myself to the vision of the Southwest governors to the effect that time has come for us to stand up as leaders for our people, Governor Ambode said. Besides, Mr. Imbode commended Mr. Eric Zola for his unwavering commitment and loyalty to progressive ideology of Aziwa Jatinabu, as well as remaining a symbol of steadfastness in the midst of storms.